Welcome up. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for the beautiful intro. Um, so, intro Mahanu Bavalu Andariki Vandanamana. Thank you. I am Akash Rapodi, and uh, I am um, so honored to be here at uh, the exams, as you can see over right here, prize distribution ceremony. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to start by saying um, a very honorable welcome to all the honorable dignitaries present here today, and um, also um, a hearty welcome to all of my 10th grade friends here today. Um, I know that you all have a lot of stress relief for me because the exam is over, but now that it's the prize ceremony, I think you're getting a little bit of uh, tension. And that's fine because really, um, friends, there is one important thing before we actually get to the long word and all that. Um, there's one thing that I want to tell you all, which is, um, Gilabara Mukhime Kani Dani Kante Pongarana Mukhime. Winning! Yes, thank you. Um, winning is important, but more than that, participation is important. That it's more important that you gave your best. You're, you know, you tried your best, 100%. And um, it doesn't matter that you won, it matters that you participated and that you learned something from it. And even if you didn't win, that's fine. Because you learn, you learn from your losses. That's how you succeed. And, um, and um, you actually have an enormous potential that you may realize, that you may not know that you actually have. Um, I'm going to be here to quickly um, let you know of your capacity. And uh, I just wanted to say one other thing, that is, um, I know you're 10th degree, but um, you are never too young to do big things. You really are never young to do big things because um, you know, anybody can do, like, um, trust me, believe me, friends, because I, I, this is from my first-hand experience at this, and uh, I just want to say that you're never too young to do big things, and that winning isn't important, and that, um, the fact that you learn something from all of this, um, because that way, you, the next time you come, you can do better, and you may eventually win. Uh, which is amazing, and um, I just wanted to say that. And um, once again, I just want to thank um, everybody here today for coming, and uh, especially to um, you know, uh, especially to the organizers for organizing the event, and uh, also to uh, Ramesh, and also to Ramesh sir, of course, for. Uh, um, also to Ramesh sir for the <laughs> in journal and, uh, and for you know uh, helping me come over here to the Apasma which is Andhra Pradesh Private Unaided um, School Management Association prize distribution ceremony. I am so so happy to be here and uh, now quickly for the longest word before we get to all the words that uh, you guys before that before that Chodandi Hallo Nandi Angus boy Okay, I'm here. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Thank you, Akash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Varsham from Pagindam took the chance of uh, uh, meeting and talking with uh, Akash. Please come. Namaste. Namaste. What's your name? Varsha. Varsha? Varsha. Yes, sir. Varsha. Yes. 
So I click on the ocean. So uh, my word is a longest word uh, of 38 letters. Super Califazilistic especially nauseous. Well, actually, I'm just letting you know to everybody here. This is the longest word that was actually featured in a movie, in a Hollywood movie. This is from the 1964 super hit film, Mary Poppins. Um, they put a word as um, one of their songs, and that word is this word. It's super califragilistic expialidocious, and uh, here's how you spell it. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C E X P I A L I D O C I O U S. Super yeah. And uh, by the way, it means uh, wonderful, which I believe is how uh, all of you have done at the test. You've done wonderful at the test, and I uh, can't wait to see you win, even though that's not actually important. But um, I can't wait to see you. So anyone else? Can you tell the spelling of Tsar, Tsar, the dynasty of Russia? The dynasty, the king name of the Russia. Can you tell the spelling of Tsar? Tsar. Hmm. The king's of Russia. Oh, Russia? Well, I don't know. This is actually kind of a little bit confusing because there are two spellings of the word. Oh, okay. Um, there, is, um, there are two spellings. One is C Z A R, and the other is T S A R. Can we tell, can we tell that they stretch without using of A, B, C? Without using of A, B, C letters, that they stretch 100 words. What? That they stretch 100 words without using the letters of A, B, C, B. A, B, C at least. So what am I supposed to spell? 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 A, B, C. Okay. Here we go. These are like some new challenges that don't really do this in the B, but that's why I love challenges. They're, I love challenges, they're fun. So uh, let's do this, I guess. I mean, okay. From one to hundred numbers, there is no okay. using now ABC letters. Is it oh, correct? Yeah. There is no using of A, B, C. That's actually true. There isn't any that uses the word A, B, C, not just the A, B, C, and yeah, A, B, C until like uh, 100 or something, maybe even further. And then the, the very first number in, uh, in English, the very first number with an A in it, and A, A is the third most common letter in English. The very first number that has an A in it is 1,000. A thousand has the letter A, but no other number before it has the letter A. Wait. And A is the third most used letter in the alphabet, so I mean, um, it's kind of a confusing thing, but that's true. So, ABC letters like on that, booking a A and A shown like on that, any numbers are called to Tumil 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 999. Only 1000 is the first clip, the first number which has got a A in it, right? That's what you are saying, Matakash. Yeah, A is the third most used alphabet. A and A, you know, you could get a good use of the Padana Ashram, no? Buddhasthana, no? In fact, this is the Pratan Chappuaya 45 letter word. Prati American television show logo da chala popular. Go na Akash. Booking a Steve Harvey ete baga. I mean, I see it again and again. Enjoy it, boss. Steve Harvey enjoyed a lot, right? That was really fun. He lost the challenge. That was really, really fun. I enjoyed it. 
So this word is the longest word in the dictionary. It's the longest word you can find anywhere. It's 45 letters long. And it's uh, also, no surprise, it's also my favorite word. So here we go. It's pneumonal ultramicroscopic silicovulcanokaniosis. And here's how you spell it. Thank you. 